Welcome back guys to another video and this is kind of an unexpected video that I'm doing right now uh, because it was an unexpected event that happened in my town. Um, yesterday I, I heard the unstartling news that the boardwalk in Carolina Beach, the arcade burned down. And uh, you guys are looking at some of the footage right here. I mean, it was it was really really bad, and uh, luckily no one was hurt. That's the most important thing. But I had a lot of people that were giving me messages and uh, you know messaging me on Facebook asking about this video because you know you guys know that are what you guys that watch my video know I love talking about video game memories, and this is a a huge huge memory of mine, and it's kind of like an end of an era. Um, because, as you guys know, arcades aren't really that big anymore. Um, not a whole lot of people have arcades in their towns. I mean, some people are lucky enough to have places like Fun Spot and stuff like that. And uh, But other than that, I mean, arcades are kind of a thing of the past with the, you know, online media and online gaming now. It, people don't really go out and play video games anymore. And th this is just crazy that this happened. And, uh... Some of my memories, though, at the Carolina Beach Boardwalk, I mean, this was the place that I've been visiting since I was a little kid. I was born and raised in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I remember going to this place, and uh, they also had a little theme park at, near, near the boardwalk called Jubilee Park. We would go there and ride rides, and after we were done with that, we would go to the boardwalk, have uh, some Brits donuts, which are like the best donuts ever. And then we would go to arcade and play games. And this is a place that I first played games like Hammering Harry and Street Fighter Alpha. I mean, this was an awesome arcade, and it was it was such a a, a summer treat because we didn't. It was open seasonal, so we didn't go there all the time. So every summer we would go there and you know go to the aquarium and go to Boardwalk. It was like a little mini vacation that we're very fortunate to have in this town. But. You know, it, it, with it burning down, you know, they're, they're going to rebuild it. The building's going to be probably rebuilt, uh, but it's not going to be the same. You know, and I think a lot of you guys can agree with those kind of scenarios. Uh, if you guys are from the Wilmington, North Carolina area, or been to Wilmington, North Carolina, and you've been to this arcade, leave a comment below. Tell me some of your stories about it. Make a video response with a Google Plus uh, link. I'd love to watch it. But if you guys have never visited this place, I think some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Rather it be a mom and pop shop closing down, or an arcade in your town that closed down, and you just get this, uh, this very weird, nostalgic, bittersweetness, but at the same time, it it's hard to describe, you know? it's it, Like I said, it's the end of an era to me, you know? I, I don't think we'll ever have another arcade now. I mean, this was like the last one, the last relic of that time. So, definitely leave a comment below. Let me let me know some of your guys' memories of places that might have been uh, left in the past now. It's, uh, it's kind of surreal. It's silly. It's really, really silly that, you know, I'm making a video talking about a place like this, but it had a very profound impact on my childhood, and I'd love to hear some of your guys' experiences as well. So leave a comment below, and as always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, happy gaming.